what happened during the war on terror. Hey, stay now on for the target. We're at manual. Detention. Interrogation. Waterboarding. With last week's Senate report, the reality of what the CIA was doing has been brought to light. And with that has come a spotlight on Britain and its spies. Today, the man in charge of Parliament's intelligence watchdog promised he would get to the answers. We have a statutory obligation to carry out this task without fear or favour. And if our conclusions are that either ministers or serving ministers or former ministers mm. or MI6 or MI5 or anyone else were complicit in torture, we will say so and we will indicate the evidence that has brought us to that conclusion. The questions are over whether Britain was complicit in American actions. What did it know? For instance, at Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan, a British spy may have seen a detainee who had been abused. But did others ask enough questions in the following years about the intelligence they received and how it had been obtained? Did they even send questions to be asked? A second issue is whether Britain was actively involved in rendition, the transfer of detainees. Two men were sent to Libya by the CIA, where they say they were tortured. Memos found after the fall of Colonel Gaddafi's regime in Libya suggested MI6 may have been directly involved in that operation. There are also questions about whether British territory was used for rendition. For instance, how many flights landed on the island of Diego Garcia, a US airbase, but British soil. Britain's spies here have always maintained that there's no evidence that they were directly involved in torture themselves. But the scale and the detail of what was revealed in that American report has only intensified the questions about what they might have known. The pressure for answers is growing. And not everyone is sure that Parliament's Intelligence and Security Committee, or ISC, is the right body to find those answers. It was that committee which was overseeing the intelligence services at the time that much of this abuse happened. So they gave the intelligence services a clean bill of health five years after rendition planes landed in Diego Garcia. The US report did not contain any evidence of British involvement. However, that in itself raised suspicions because the British government admits it lobbied the Senate for parts to be blacked out, only for national security and not to cover up, say the government but it means the questions have not gone away. Gordon Carrera, BBC News.